Good morning everyone, hope you're well. Welcome back to my Greek kitchen. Today we're going to be making tarta me kolokithi. So today we're going to be making a courgette tart. And it's very easy to make. We're going to make the pastry ourselves and it's a very easy pastry to make. And the ingredients are very simple and straightforward. And the tart is absolutely delightful, very light and lovely. I'm sure you will love it. Let's start with the pastry. For the pastry, we will need two cups of all-purpose flour, one egg yolk, half a cup of butter that I have just melted a little bit, a hundred ml of water, and some salt. For the filling, we will need 500 grams of courgette that we have just chopped like this. We will need um, lots of lovely herbs. So here I've got mint, just a small handful of mint, about two tablespoons of mint, um, two tablespoons of uh, finely chopped parsley, and a tablespoon of dill, all finely chopped, all fresh. I'm using fresh. We will need two eggs, three spring onions, three scallions, finely chopped, two tablespoons of breadcrumbs, and the reason we add the breadcrumbs is to, to soak up any of the juice that the courgette might have. Here I've got a cup of crumbled Greek feta and a cup of really nice sharp cheddar. But you can use any hard cheese you like. You can use pecorino if, if you want. And here I've got a cup of Greek yogurt. The first thing we're going to do is make the pastry. And the reason we want to make the pastry first is because the pastry needs time to relax. It will need about an hour in the fridge to just rest. I have some flour here with me just in case I need it. I might not, but just in case. So in a clean big bowl, I'm going to add the flour. I'm going to add the butter. And I'm going to add the egg yolk. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Not too much, just a little pinch. And I have my water here, so I'm just going to start working everything together and slowly adding the water. As I mentioned, I have here 100 ml of water. I might not need all of it, but I'm going to slowly add it and work my dough to bring it together. What you're going to end up with is a really nice soft dough. So just be a bit patient and work it, work the water slowly into the mixture. Right, here we are. I've used almost all of the water. Can you see there's a little bit left? So be mindful when you make the pastry, just wipe the water slowly. And I have a lovely soft dough. So what I'm going to do now is wrap it in some clean film, clean film stick it in the fridge and leave it there for an hour and during that time we're going to make our filling. The next part of this recipe is to make the filling. So the dough is resting in the fridge for an hour and I have here a, a pan of a medium to high heat and I have added three tablespoons of olive oil. I've let this um, heat up a little bit and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add all the courgette into the pan. And what I want to do is I want to fry the courgette and let it cook down so it's nice, soft and caramelized. So when you hear the sizzle, you need to make sure that you are careful with your heat. So you turn it down to medium and you let the courgette cook for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes have passed, we're still on medium heat and my courgettes have started softening. So what we're going to do now is, I have added pepper and salt. With the salt I'm only adding just a quarter of a teaspoon because we have the feta and the cheddar that are quite salty already. And pepper is to your own liking. I love pepper so I just went for it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the chopped spring onions here. And we're going to add all these lovely herbs, mint, dill, and parsley. Okay. And we're going to give this a step, come closer. 
cannot tell you how wonderful it smells. Okay, and I'm gonna turn the heat down. I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna let it cook for another 15 minutes. 15 minutes have passed. The corsets look beautiful and soft. I've taken the lid off, turned the heat off, and I'm gonna leave the lid off for all the um, steam to evaporate. I'm gonna leave it here for half an hour. And by the end of the half hour, the, this would have cooled down so we can use it in the filling and the dough will be ready. And we can assemble our tart ready for baking. We're ready for the final stage of making our courgette tart. Okay, I have preheated the oven at 180 degrees centigrade. I have taken the dough out of the fridge. It had an hour to relax. My courgettes are in the background completely cold now so we're good and I'm gonna do the filling so in a bowl I'm gonna crack the eggs two eggs and I'm gonna give them a quick whisk Lots of pepper because I love pepper, but it's entirely up to you. And I'm gonna give this a mix. Beautiful. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the corset and I'm gonna add the corset mixture in here. Some people like my mother sometime, times layers the courgette first on the tart and then adds the mixture. I like to mix everything together. And gently fold them in. So you see the courgettes, some are lovely and soft and some, oops, have kept their shape. You see? And the herbs smell absolutely divine. Here we go. The corset mixture is all in. I'm gonna gently give it all a stir. Delicious. And I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. That's it. We're ready. Are you ready? <laughs> now, I've got here a dish, a tart dish that's about approximately 10 inches, 25 centimeter dish and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll up my pastry big enough to cover the bottom of my dish. So a little bit of flour on my surface, my lovely pastry Give it a little bit of a pat to help it come to room temperature from the fridge. And I'm gonna start rolling it now. This is such a lovely dough and it's so easy to make. You cannot really go wrong with it. And I have to tell you, it makes the tar absolutely divine. Of course you can buy puff paste if you like if you want to cheat a little bit, but if you have time and you want to try it, why not? I would highly recommend this tart, especially if you have courgettes that you haven't used. 
and you want to use them, not to waste them, make this start is fantastic. So I'm gonna keep rolling until I have a big enough piece to cover the bottom of my cart. I'm happy, I have a big enough piece now to cover the bottom of my cart, but first things first, we need a little bit of butter, just a little bit, to butter the bottom of the dish, the bottom and the sides of the dish, basically all over the dish. <laughs> and the reason we do that is because we don't want the pastry to stick. But also, it makes the pastry lovely and crisp. We had the start the other week with some lovely green salad and it was the perfect lunch, I have to tell you. So with your hands, of course you can use a brush if you like, but you should know by now. I believe that the hands are a cook's best stove, so there you go, that's lovely. Now, gently lift up your pastry and add it to your dish and very gently lift and push with your finger like this lift and push lift and push you see how good this pastry is it hasn't ripped it has kept its shape it's lovely okay so with your fingers now very gently just push the pastry into the little spaces of the dish here, of the, the little gaps in the dish. Can you see? Just like that. Okay? We need a fork and we're just going to prick the bottom of the dish, the bottom of the pastry. Just like that. Okay? And then we're going to add all this gorgeous filling. I've added all the filling. It looks wonderful, I have to tell you. It tastes absolutely amazing. So now we need to deal with this little pastry uh, hanging over the dish. A little knife and carefully run your knife and cut the pastry by using the dish as your guide. See? Don't uh, pull the pastry. I sometimes do it, I just rip the pastry. But don't, it looks better if you just take your time. And this will go in the oven for 40 minutes or until it gets golden brown on top. 40 minutes should be absolutely right. Because tart, yummy. Let's cook it, 40 minutes. And just like that, just like magic, the courgette tart is out of the oven, I've let it cool down and we're ready to cut a slice and have a little try. This is the color you want on top nice and golden brown and of course it's better to let it cool down completely before you cut it and serve it i'm very excited to show you this it's lovely and it's lovely with that's it with a little salad for lunch or supper pastry looks lovely can you see the third bottle has cooked beautifully it smells divine and I'm gonna get stuck in and let you know what it tastes like ideally you would use a knife 
Is divine. Tarta, my colleague, Cosette, tart. I hope you make it because I'm sure you will love it. It's super, super yummy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and sus subscribe. Thank you ever so much for all your support so far. The channel is growing and growing and growing, and I know you all appreciate authentic Greek food. Take care, keep well, and try the tart.